so this will be a real quick video now i'm very much excited to tell you something what if i tell you that you can run any desktop application in your android phone just right from your lap on your phone i mean from your hand or on your palm you can run a full desktop application would you believe me or from your android tablet so it sounds crazy right now the same thing can be achieved by installing linux on arm or android now you're not going to mess with the original operating system of your phone or laptop i sorry not laptop or tablet you are just going to install linux on android so you're not mixing up with the messing up with the main operating system you're just installing it i mean it's pretty much like what we do from virtual box you can think of it like that now the process is pretty simple and it's obviously very much safe i'm using it on my daily phone and i don't experience any much problem there so it's fine you can definitely go on with this now first we need to move to the play store now as the first step we need to go and download an application named Andronix. now after you have downloaded Andronix, we need to go and download term ux yes this one and install it next step we need to get vnc after we install the three applications now we need to move to the first one that we have installed that is Andronix. so let me just quickly open Andronix. yeah i've just searched here so click on open and there we get it running now i'm going to install ubuntu in my system so click on install and move down to select your version i'll select the latest lts version that is a 20.04 just go on and get a desktop environment that is xmc you can also install just the window manager for example awesome can be installed now we need to paste this and press the enter key now this will continue automatically and install everything there is a permission check you will get a permission to be granted and click on allow to grant the permission and the process will automatically start now this will take some time so after this i'm going to fast forward this video Now we have successfully done the first step now in the next part it is mainly the installation or setup of the vnc server now at this step we can select any type of resolution that we want or okay i will choose the dynamic resolution i don't think it started so let, let me just check if uh, we can restart vnc from here so we'll just write vnc server start okay we need to enter ubuntu first so we just need to right and the file is probably ubuntu 20 ubuntu 20 dot sh yeah uh, 
okay it's start ubuntu start ubuntu 20.sh or dot sh and we'll just need to copy that file name and we'll start the system we'll just type it ubuntu 20.sh or dot sh now clear and when you can see that root at the rate local host you can be sure that you have already started ubuntu now we will just start vnc server so vnc server start and now we need to select the type of resolution so just click on ok if you want to okay there's a weird problem here so i'm also going to show you the steps how to st uh, stop or solve this problem i just found out how to solve this problem and these are generally the two codes that need to be run for removing the files uh, that are required as as shown now let's just start the vnc again okay first we need to start the ubuntu 20 we need to start the ubuntu 20.sh file now we have entered ubuntu now we need to start vnc server and select the dynamic resolution okay so we are still having that problem hmm let me just check VNC. Okay. Let me just delete the data of VNC because I had already set up VNC before. Might be due to that we are facing some problem. Though the two files needs to be deleted again, it probably it seems. So I'll just clear the data and don't mind the screen is on the other side i do understand that so just click on next 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 and get started at this point we need to just create a local host give the address as local host colon one and the name as of your choice so we'll give, give it as ubuntu and we need to click on ubuntu and still it's not working so let's just get back there and remove the files again well, let's just do one thing let's no, not go into such uh, problems and let's just set up another port so let's select custom resolution for this and we will select the resolution as 1900x1200 uh, you can set it as of your choice so i'm just giving a random value here so we'll enter the custom port as 2 so as you can see we do not enter into such problems and the vnc just sets up itself so we'll just get back here now sadly we need to leave it behind and we need to create a new connection with localhost underscore localhost and colon 2 and let's name this as ubuntu xfce that's it I click on create now we click on connect now sometimes it happens that a connection takes too long then you can just click on cancel and reconnect again so Let's click cancel and let's reconnect mm, still the problem is persisting but let's be patient patient and continue to wait now there we get it so remove that warning that for unencrypted connection and password we haven't given any password so no password skip those steps and we have finally managed to run xfce desktop this xfce do you find anything that nothing is working wherever i click it doesn't work so we need to fix this right so how android phones are designed they are mainly designed to be uh, saving power 
right and performance re remains on the other side so we're just going to stop vnc for now and kill the port 2 and let's see what we can do by restarting the server though the problem is with um term ux i probably think that is because it is going to sleep when we're just doing it so I think we need to go to the settings in order to change the battery performance. I generally don't tweak with such settings because that affects the battery life drastically and it decreases. So I'll just try out it again and see if the problem persists. So let's see. Um, it seems okay. It's working now. It's working But if you get such problem it is recommended that you just go and Add the whitelist term UX so that it does not get stopped by the Android ROM that you're running and You have just continued connection At this point you have perfectly configured it and you can run full desktop applications on Android. It's crazy, it's it's so fun to do so. But you obviously cannot expect that much of performance that you can get from your full desktop, but still you can multitask at a decent acceptable performance. So after this point in this video, I'm just going to just tweak with the settings, change the settings and just play with the operating system that I have installed now. So just to give you an insight of what you can do with the installed system. If you want to uninstall the OS, it's easy. You just need to click on uninstall in Andronix from the OS that you have downloaded. For example, for me, it is Ubuntu and the command will get copied. You need to open term UX and there you need to paste the command and hit enter and automatically the operating system image will be removed from your system. It's that simple. Now I'm just going to give you just a basic understanding of the graphic performance in the operating system that you are installing inside Android and obviously I don't expect you to go to youtube.com from a browser inside an another operating system of Android because you can do it easily from the YouTube app and where you can expect a better type of performance but still if you want to see how graphic works here I'm just going to visit youtube.com to show you a video a playback of the video but I don't think speakers are working properly because I didn't hear any sound while the video was being played So let me just browse to my favorite video of my channel that I have created. So I'm just going to play this. As you can see the video loads late and even after increasing the sound, the sound is not captured at all. When I click on audio mixer, it just shows an error and does not open any file. Even the web browser that is there in the dock, if you click on it, it will just show an error and it will not open it. So if you see going to the full screen it takes a lot of time and in desktop uh, app installation of xfc or uh, any version of linux this process is way more more faster than what windows does so okay it's fine let me just close it and now i'm just going to play with the system so what I see is that after reducing the resolution, after reducing the resolution, the system has become much snappier. But the big mouse is the main problem. The huge mouse is uh, really, really making a lot of problem. But still it's fine. What more do you expect, man? If you can get complete desktop applications running in the system, then it's just more than perfect. I don't think the statistics are normal here because it cannot be 0% CPU but still okay 
so let's just uh, go to desktop from here we can change the wallpaper but none of them are nice I think still it's fine so let's go to display and what if we reduce the resolution further can we get better performance okay this is this is too small I think let's go one step above this is better Wow, the lesser the resolution, the snappier the operating system becomes. I, I, at this point, I will be just plain straightforward with you. I feel like I'm using a real desktop. I'm running it from a real desktop or a laptop. It's really, really snappy. Like, wow. Okay, let's change the icons. This to look too bad. So let's go to Humanity Dark. Yeah, uh, it's better now. Okay, we can even change the font. Basically, whatever you can expect from XFCE, you are going to get here. At this point, this feels so ridiculous that 18,733 days is the uptime of the CPU. I don't know how it is possible, but still it's really really ridiculous that is the uptime of the CPU. So it's fine, just let me go get back to Termu, Termu X and let's just install NeoFetch. I will just install NeoFetch there and I will check it. What is the uptime that it will show? So, so basically, you cannot shut down the system. You just can log out and do anything. So let's just exit from here. We have to disconnect. Okay, it's fine. Let's go to Term UX and first. Stop the VNC server. And there we go. So let us just install NeoFetch in Android. So PKG install NeoFetch.
done let's search let's just write new of it and there you go the uptime is just 2 hours 54 minutes <laughs> that was ridiculous 18,000 days well whatever it might be due to some internal problem or I don't know how it happened <laughs>